Hi everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is using my new stamp set for this month and it's a good man. In this card we're going to be using this image of the man cuddling a little girl. Um, this one I grew up loved and this sentiment thanks to you. Inside I put the word happy birthday which I just got from Itty Bitty Birthdays and I'm just using that. Happy birthday. Cardstock I've got, I've got a piece of a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half. Need to burnish in. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. A piece of, oh, I've got two pieces here, don't need two, pattern paper and I got this from Panland um, a couple of weeks ago because I like that tartan effect, it was a ma mail pack and I've got this and this measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths just to go on the front. I've got a piece of white cardstock at three inches by four and a half yeah three inches by four and a half and this is what we're going to stamp our image on and I've also got some tiny strips of uh, white cardstock this is from when I chop all my um, cards up I am cut a load up together to get the card base fronts I need and I'm usually left with all these strips and I keep them and I'm going to use them for the sentiments and they measure half an inch by five and five eighths so I've got two in case I make, in fact I've got a few here or four in case I make mistakes when I'm stamping the words and I'm also be using the blends so let's get our stamping done. I want that for happy birthday and that for the image. I'm just using black Versafine Onyx ink. So stamp it up. Or ink it up, shall I say? I'm going to turn this sideways because it's easier holding the block and I'm going to stamp it down there we have it get my cloth and clean the stamp That's all we've got to stamp there. On here we want to stamp happy birthday. Oh, that's not it. That's it. And we're just going to stamp happy birthday there. That's okay. Clean that. Put that to the side so we don't need that. Right, these. I'm getting a bit of scrap paper to try and keep my page clean. Right, I'm going to stamp thanks to you and just stamp that in the middle. Nice. And we're going to cut the words apart or cut thanks and to you right the next one is I grew up love right I want just I grew up that's not very good that is and then we want the word love now love just fits on these 
so I had to do it about three or four times before I got it right before oh look first time oh I'm pleased with that Afterwards, right, get rid of that. And with our scissors, what we do is just cut that down and cut the end of this up a little bit. We don't need all that. So we've got the word love and then just cut up the middle of these two and trim it down a little bit. Trim that up as well, we don't need all that. Thanks. In with this, just trim it down a little bit. Thanks to you. Where's the word? Oh, we're done with my word love. Oh, done that as I grew up. Cracking up. Rubbish. And just trim this top bit down. There we are. Thanks to you, I grew up loved. A little on my ink. So now we're going to colour these in. And the colours we need are light, night and navy, light, lovely lipstick, which I did her jeans in, dark pink pirouette for a top, mint macaron dark for his top, and I did light so saffron and the bronze for the hair. So these are the colours we're going to use, so what I did was I did streets of the light so saffron in the hair, then I went over it again in bronze. Just give them a dirty blonde look. Tell you what colour I never got out is pale light petal pink, and this is for their skin. So do his neck, do her hand, do his arm, and her back bit there, where her t-shirt's riding up, and her foot. Right, her t-shirt's pink, this is actually brushing bride because when it ran out I re-inked it but I didn't have pink pirouette to re-ink it so I used blushing bride. Right, lovely lipstick for her trousers. Now 
mint macaron for his top. And light navy for his jeans. Another colour doing this shoes. We'll do them in grey. I didn't do his shoes either. And we'll ground him with just a bit of smoky slate put this card together now. Oh no, 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 no. Right, with soft suede and the brush end and with your, the reverse side of your sentiments facing the nib, just colour in across the top. If you do it with the back side facing you, then if you do slip, it's not the front that gets marked, it's the back. Just like that, where I've slipped. And of course, with it being so small, I'm getting pen on my finger. Just make some stand out on the white cardstock of it. It saves you back in them. Of course you can back them if you want to. I choose to do it this way. Ah, that's them done. <coughs> now with some glue. To make sure that this is oh, what we've got to do. 
finish your card. I'm going to stick this on. She says, but my glue's not working. Come on. This is why I break all my um, nibs on my bottles. Right. That's it. Quite pretty paper that, isn't it? Well, pretty nice paper. Right. And this, we will glue on flat. And we'll put that to the left, leaving a bit of a border top and at the side, the bottom and the side. Right, oh, let's do the inside. Now these I'm going to put on dimensionals. Put the lid on my glue. I'm going to run out of these mini dimensionals soon and I haven't got any more. Use a bit of the edge. Right, let's. Oh, yeah, thanks is the first one. Right, on this, I stick them. Don't stick them straight because that make it boring. Just Stick them at an angle. Uh, thanks to you. I'm going to stick this down the way. I grew up. Loved. Just did that half on and half off the paper. And that is my card. Right, this card, I'm just checking my phone, it was case from Pinterest, 
and the lady's name was Wendy Cramford who I cased this from and well, thank you very much because I do like it I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon